Hello and welcome to Teacher's Notes. In this video we have a very very special tech review for you and I'll be reviewing what I believe is the best AI tool for teachers to use. Um, I know there's a lot of good AI tools out there and I'm sure you've already tried some and you've been used to some but I can tell you since getting this tool uh, my work has been you know just completely changes so much better saves so much time and it's just an incredible tool and great news at the moment it's still free and hopefully it'll be free for some time to go so let's check it out first of all head over to Google and then the name of this tool is brisk and you want to search brisk and I would use the Chrome extension that's the easiest way to use this device and also the best way to get the best out of it so head over to Google Chrome Chrome extension and install it I've already got the device installed or the software installed as you can see but it's very very easy to do and once you've got it installed you can then help it to create uh, presentations create quizzes it's really really a great great tool so go ahead and then I'm gonna head over to um, Google Slides and I'm gonna create a slide using brisk just to show you how how easy it is so click on create a new slide and after it opens up you'll see down in the right hand corner there'll be the little brisk icon it will pop up in a minute okay there it is and so what you need to do you need to click on there and then that is where you tell brisk what you want okay now the good thing about this obviously AI it's linked into all the um, you know well-known curriculum um, what have you so I use the um, Cambridge uh, GCSE and a level curriculum of the school I work at but it's also obviously got information about US curriculum Singaporean curriculum so so many so I am gonna use this lesson I'm gonna create a um, presentation for my geography lesson so I've got the geography GCSE and I'm, my students are doing a section on uh, population so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and drop in here and then you'll see how quickly it can create something really really incredible let's have a look and like I said I have got uh, colleagues who've used it with like Singaporean curriculum American curriculum um, early years university as well as you can just do everything so click in what you need to do and then click brisk and you watch um, this AI populate your presentation for you saving you hours and hours of work so let's see what it creates for us okay and as mentioned you know it's going to put in all the information the more information you give it the better it can be like very specific about the specific unit um, it can be about um, specific challenge within one of the units it can be a, about you know pre-exam practice the more information you give it the better so I've just given it a very very basic overview of um, the population unit okay and you can see there all the learning outcomes are coming out all the basic information And yeah, it's creating a whole slide show for me, saving me lots and lots of time. Obviously, when it's done, you need to go back in there. Make sure it's got everything you need. Make sure it's hitting all your learner outcomes. You might want to add some other links. You want to, might, I might want to add some other resources. You can ask Brist to do that. Personally, I like to just go in afterwards and just tidy up myself. Um, make sure it's you know got everything my students need to be aware of. Maybe change some of the images in there. But generally, it does a great, great um, starting base for us. Okay. And not only is Brisk excellent for creating presentations, it's also really, really good at creating quizzes. Now, you can create quizzes using the presentation you've made, or you can also use it on any web page or any PDF, um, pretty much anything. You open it up in Google Chrome, the icon will be at the bottom, and you can ask it to create a quiz. Okay, so I'm going to head over there, and now I'm going to ask it to create a quiz for me based on this presentation. So that'll be a good like review activity. Let them go through the presentation, then answer some questions, make sure they've understood it before we go into some like deeper learning. Okay, and you can see there it has the Google Forms option. I'm gonna click on that, and it's gonna create me a quiz in Google Forms. And wow, how I wish I had this back during the COVID teaching, online teaching back then, because I spent like, you know, hours and hours and hours creating those Google Forms. And this is great. It does it for you. 
it creates the quiz, uh, it puts in the correct answers. You can also, you know, give it more information, how many questions you want. If you want the questions to be, you know, what level of difficulty. Also about the language in the question, whether you want it to be, you know, first uh, English, first language English speakers or second language English speakers. You can also get it to be adjusted to the age of the students, the class. And there you go. Look at that. I have my quiz all up and running, fully created. Okay. And again, of course, you need to go through it. You need to make sure it's correct. You know, AI does hallucinate, so it doesn't always get everything right. But as far as like a template for you to get cracking with, you know, the lessons work, it's, it's a great, great starting place. And it saved so, so much time. So like I said, a fantastic tool, Brisk. I suggest you head over there, download it, check it out and start using it today. If you have started using it, tell me what you think in the comments below. If you have a, a better tool, please also share that with me. What do you think is better than Brisk? Um, since I've started using it, I've just you know saved so so much time, and I found the quality of the work has been great. So I've been very very happy with it. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please do click like, hit subscribe, leave a comment, and like I said, if you've got other experiences with AI in education, please let me know. Appreciate you watching the video. Thank you.